Hi guys, I'm Sasha. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to show you some ideas on how you can use your Dremel or any rotary tool for glass etching. So here's some things that I tried out. I have never done this before. I tried doing this for this video. So I'm very new at it, but I will tell you, you can do it. It's very fun, very easy. You just have to dedicate a little time to it. Uh, this was one thing that I did. It's got a little bird on it. Okay, this is a $1 candle holder from the dollar store. These I got, just got two of these from the dollar store. They've got little snowmen on them. It's hard to see the white one, but you see it at an angle there. Okay, you can get pretty detailed. This one I did for my brother-in-law who just placed sixth in the world for fly fishing. Go Josh Grafham. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, this one I did for my son. Now this one really shows how detailed you can get. I didn't have any black paper. It really should be black paper there. Stick around and I'll show you the bits that I used, which I got on Amazon a while ago. I'm going to try to find the link and put it in the description box, but I may not be able to find it. But you want to use the diamond point bits uh, for glass etching. And you want to wear safety goggles or glasses and definitely a mask. So to be honest with you, my biggest struggle in this process of trying this out was keeping my goggles from fogging up. <laughs> so stick around and uh, let me know what you think. Now I'm just using a silicone pot holder actually. It just keeps the glass in place. But you can use this tacky stuff also, which works great if you have something that's not flat. That'll kind of hold it to your surface that you're working on. And the bit I'm using, I'm just calling it a detail bit, but it's got a bit of a point to it. And I didn't speed up this portion because I wanted you to actually see about how long it takes to do these small sections. And it feels like you can't see what's going on very well, but Actually, there's really nothing to see. It's even hard to see when you're doing it. It barely looks any different. And that's why once I trace all the edges of the picture, I remove that piece of paper and I can see my lines way better. And I basically just constantly move it so that I'm always getting a good angle to where I can have a steady hand. I've noticed I don't have a steady hand at every angle, so I just move it to where I feel the most comfortable. And then once I finish tracing all the lines, you can see it's still pretty rough and a lot of the areas are not fully filled in. The lines are not completely straight, but it's because it's, it's pretty hard to see when you're actually doing it. So once I remove that piece of paper, then it's much easier to see and perfect all those lines and then fill in everything that needs to be filled in. And I think in all, this particular one took me about three hours from start to finish. And there's the finished one.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I thought it was a lot of fun, but I really hope you guys try it because it's very doable. I do not have steady hands and I was able to do it. So um, yeah, I hope you try it. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you next time.